having bills abuse, and yet he is standing to defend the Republic of Cameroon on behalf to the United States government. Well, that is the sad thing that we must have to accept. But I will be the last person to accept, and I will pound upon it that the United States government need to look whether is that a fairness that a person that does not value his own people and United States citizens, despite the amazing nation like this on the planet, that has enormous wealth, and a single individual of this can choose to stand with this terrorist individual because he's looking for money from a third world country. That is the person. That is a person. I mean, it is, it is, it is an absurd. It is terrible. It is terrible. It is terrible. It is terrible. United States Department of Defense suspend his military assistance to the Republic. United States Department of Defense, President of this nation, Donald Trump, suspend trade dealing with La Republic of Cameroon. U.S. State Department has condemned, has even suspended one of the commander of the Gendarmerie, the secretary of whatever in the Gendarmerie in La Republic. And a citizen of the high profile person in the United States will choose to deal with this monster. A citizen of the United States will choose to deal with this monster. It's an outrageous. However, that is him. You all know. He will choose to deal with a monster. Well, the truth is that the people of Southern Cameroon are paid price for injustice that were committed to them by British government. The people of Southern Cameroon are spilling their blood because of injustice that were inflicted on them by the British government. How did the people of Southern Cameroon get into this mess? Because the United Nations articles, uh, article 1514 of XV of the United Nations Charter. The article specify a decolonization, a decolonization, decolonization meaning that those territory that belongs, those territory that were under the Germans and are now under the Allied forces be given an independent. That was what it was saying. Article 16.0XXV of the United Nations Charter confirmed that the United Nations had finally decolonized and that those territories were given their independence. That was what was it. And Southern Cameroon, which is now undergoing this military occupation, should have been decolonized and restored by the United by Great Britain. And that out of uh, United Nations Charter of 1608 SV should have been respected. But however, injustice of the British government, injustice of the British government, they felt that because of their personal interest in the, in the East Africa, and they do not want France to get involved, so therefore they have to award their own brothers France certain territorial integrity, which Southern Cameroon was part of that reward. And in doing so, Southern Cameroon was handed to France. The document that was signed at the United Nations was not given to the leadership of Southern Cameroon. Instead, it was given to a foreign nation, La Republic of Cameroon. That document was not given to Southern Cameroon that has been dealing with Great Britain. Instead, it was handed to France, to La Republic of Cameroon. 
So it was handed to the Republic of Cameroon while the actual owner of the land were ignored. And today you have all this massacre because Britain failed in its policy to execute what supposed to have been done judiciously and rightly. They didn't. So the United Nations that is just a stewardship. The United Nations that is just a stewardship. Let me see if I have the, I don't have the copy of the United Nations. But anyway, next time when I do another live broadcast, I'm going to talk about it. The United Nations, the United Nations should have respect their own document. Their own document which they wrote that a decolonization. They should have visited and talked about it. Of course, no one cared to talk about it. So long as the murdering and slaughtering going on, they are asking La Republic. The United Nations envoy, United Nations envoy, asking La Republic to investigate what is sad and disgusting. It's just like asking the corona the coronary virus in in China to investigate itself and report to the United to to the World Health Organization. I hope you got it. It's just asking the coronavirus in China to investigate itself and report to the World Health Organization. Of course, the coronavirus will, will obviously investigate itself and report to the World Health Organization. That is how they are asking the Republic to investigate the crime they committed and report to the United Nations. Would you investigate yourself and report back to the United Nations? What a stupid... Dude, does this world have a sound mind, a sound judgment? What a double jeopardy. That is the most deplorable state that we find. That world body know that La Republic du Cameroon is an unjust nation that was forced upon the people of Southern Cameroon against the will of the people. And they are using what type of slaughtering? And they are asking La Republic to investigate itself and report to the United Nations. Just as asking the coronavirus to investigate and report it to World Health Organization. What's a double jeopardy? <clears throat> so, that is a US diplomat. A US high level diplomat. A US high level diplomat that undermined the value of the United States and chose the wrong pathway because of money. Is it money that is lacking here in the United States? That he would choose the wrong dirty business of La Republic du Cameroon, the most terrorist government that is currently on this planet. You saw those children were grossly murdered by La Republic du Cameroon. And that is why a US top high level, level officials will choose dirty money over the life of the third world country citizens that have been grossly murdered by the most terrorist government that we have on this planet. Well, we can speak, but ultimately the United States will decide. And that is why I am asking the United States government to do their own job. I am asking the United States government to do their own job. That is it fair that their own top level officials at the United States government will choose a terrorist individual, as such as Paul Bear regime, to work in collaboration to clear his their mess here in the United States. I have not, in any circumstances, endorsed that United States citizens will choose that pathway to carry on such an act, and on behalf of the most cruel regime in this planet, Paul Bear regime. Well. These are children. Those are children. Imagine they were yours. Imagine those children were your children that were grossly slaughtered. Imagine intentionally for personal egoistic just to turn the page around. 
that the world should understand that the people that are fighting for independence are not actually what they mean for. Why this terrorist government is slaughtering these children indiscriminately? I urge the United States to do their own job and say, this is enough, enough is enough, enough is enough. Enough of injustice is enough. But I want to take a moment to thank all of you for watching. It has been a disgusting situation in Southern Cameroon. Fellow brothers and sisters elsewhere in around the world, we all know that we are endured by the injustice of this planet. You all see Great Britain voted. Great Britain voted to join European Union. Great Britain voted to abstain from the European Union. There was not a single gunshot. It was a friendly gesture. But our people, 3,000 people have given up their life. And they are still giving up their life for an injustice that opposed, imposed upon the people of Southern Cameroon. The God of this world, if they exist at all, I ask the God of this world that what has the people of Southern Cameroon committed? That injustice is continue to persuade the people and the lives has been sacrificed. The Lord of injustice, if you actually uh, endorse injustice, then we have no choice. But I believe that the Lord is a strong and dynamic that stands against injustice. So I ask the Lord to come to the United States and ask the United States government, how much does we need? Why must injustice be, be put in front, be placed more above than justice? The point is clear. Let the United Nations respect the terms of their document and let them put the document. That will terminate this crisis in Southern Cameroon. If they go by the justice, why must a foreign nation control Southern Cameroon? Why? Why must a terrorist government control the people of Southern Cameroon? Why can the people not govern themselves? Why can't the people govern themselves? This is the big question that we must ask. Why can't they govern themselves? If, 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 if a nation has three